Hi guys, I'm back and today I bring you my December and January wrap up and my favorite TV ad. So starting in January, I said that I wanted to in my previous wrap up or yeah wrap up slash TBR. I said that I wanted to read four class because I had to do an essay combining two the two plays. I wanted to read uh, I wanted to read La Casa de Bernarda Alba by Federico García Lorca I, and also Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. I managed to do that and I really like both of the plays. I all I was re re reading uh, La Casa de Bernarda Alba. I already read it before but I needed to focus myself on the play. And regarding Romeo and Juliet, I like it, but I thought it wasn't as good as I thought it. I mean, I like uh, Romeo and Juliet, I really do, but I don't see the point of uh, considering one of the best works uh, of Shakespeare. I had really high expectations with that one. So I really, uh, I, I like it, but I was expecting more of it. And then in January, I have read like four four books. The first of those was uh, I reread. It was Life is a Dream by Calderón de la Barca or La Vida es Sueño, which is the original title in Spanish, which is from a Spanish drama troupe from the golden age of the Spanish drama period. And I, also, I as I said before, I read it so before. So it wasn't a new, exciting, but it was more a quick revising, more than actually a reading, enjoyable reading. And then I read Waiting for Godot. In this case, Waiting for Godot was a huge surprise. I really wanted to like it, but I didn't. I know that it's a very important play, but I give it... I gave to this book one start out of five in Goodreads, but because I had actually didn't actually I didn't understand the plot. I didn't connect with the characters. I wasn't sure why they were there or why I didn't. I'm sure that it has a meaning more in depth meaning that everybody prays and loves, but I don't get it. I wasn't. I I didn't get it, and I really wanted to, but I didn't get it. As you can probably notice, all, all the books I mentioned here, you can actually uh, check my ratings and my comments on my Goodreads profile that I leave you in the box, in the info, info box down below. So just check that if you want to see more, more uh, my writings, basically. After that, I read uh, Antigone by Sophocles and I... On the contrary of, of the other one, I really enjoyed that one. It was a really quick, quick read, very dramatic, classical Greek, uh, like drama, and I love it. I was very invested with the characters. I, ha I went with the characters to, to, I mean, the whole journey with them. I was really moved. I really like it. And finally, I managed to finish the Winner's Curse. So uh, I will do a review next week about it and as you can probably tell I have read more stuff for class than for myself but I'm going to try to go back to these past months and try to rescue books that I read for class that I actually want to review. In February I know that I haven't actually touched Spirit and Prejudice in a while and I really want to continue on. But I am in the middle of a couple of readings, shorter readings. I am reading Dalia Vifisace, which is a book I will talk to you later on, because I'm work. I mean, I'm collaborating in, um, like, getting to know this this work and getting readers to know the work as well. I'm not being paid for that. It's just. I'm doing without any, I'm doing this without any interest. I'm not I don't have any benefit from it, but I cannot tell you more until I finish it. And then I'm reading The Invisible Library by Guinevere Kochman that you know I'm already obsessed about. So that's all I have to do apart from reading The Odyssey, which is going to be my next big reading for class. But I hope I can finish this and also Go back to Pride and Breathers. I miss it so much. 
So, so far, this is everything I have to tell you for today. I hope you like it. I'm sorry for the quick video, but there's a lot of books I had to mention. So I needed to be, to keep it like shortly. Bye. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, or uh, comment me down below if you have read any of the books. If you can help me out to understand Waiting for Godot a little bit. Just let me know what you think. Bye.